Let's talk a little bit about this. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's so great to have you guys here again. And I want to go ahead and invite you guys to go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button as well as uh, hit the bell notification so that you guys know when it is that I upload my videos because uh, yeah, YouTube won't let you know that I've uploaded videos unless you specifically tell it to by clicking the bell down there. Uh, so yeah, hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell so that you guys know when the videos are uploaded. Okay, so today is uh, Saturday, September the 14th, which is crazy to think about because it means that basically we are like a little more than like, like by like this much, but we're a little more than halfway through the month of December towards getting close to Christmas. So why did I start the segment off with showing you Instagram? Well, uh, Instagram for me has been a way for me to communicate and show people that uh, I know, friends and family, as well as people that might have discovered me through my Instagram posts, letting you guys know how I'm doing, letting you guys know what I'm doing, uh, letting you guys know the things that are interesting to me and important to my life uh, and the things that I find really beautiful to photograph or the people. So in 2019, I tried my absolute best to be as active as I could on my Instagram as well as on YouTube here uh, and my other social media as well. I still have Facebook, although I don't know how many people actually use it now. Probably like just my older family. Uh, and some other like super like close friends or something like that uh, but other than that I think most people are on like Instagram or TikTok and Snapchat uh, although I don't really use Snapchat as often anymore and TikTok I'm like mm, so so active on <laughs> so yeah uh, but basically though my Instagram has been my portfolio and it's been what I like to use so that people know what I'm up to beside also using this platform here on YouTube. And what I want to try to do in 2020, because let's face it, we're like basically almost done with 2019 and 2020 is literally like a door knock away. So yeah, you just literally opened the door and there we are. So in 2020, I wanna to try to do a little bit better than what I did this past year in 2019. I wanna to try to go out there and shoot some more photography. I wanna to try to go out there and shoot some more videos. Uh, mainly videos that are, I mean, I've always done it. I've always put videos and photos that are interesting to me, but I really want to go out and explore more, do what I can to visit places that I haven't really been to or revisit places that I have been to and see how my eye is now different than what it was back in 2017 when I tried to start my YouTube channel and all that and try to really get serious about putting stuff on Instagram. So it's been a growing process uh, and it will continue to be for a while for me uh, because my main thing is, as most of you know, uh, music. And specifically, I work for the Catholic Church. I work at St. Francis of Roman Azusa. Uh, and I'm super grateful, super blessed to be able to do what I do. Uh, and I love what I do. But I also love doing photography and I also like shooting videos. And so I want to be able to do more of that. I want to do more than what I did in 2019. I want to be able to grow more than I did in 2019. So for me, 2020 is gonna be a huge uh, year uh, in so many ways and I can't wait to have the opportunity to grow, have the opportunity to really develop myself as a photographer, as a videographer, as a musician, as so many other things in my life. Uh, so I'm looking very much forward to it. But Instagram has been the number one thing that I've loved and really enjoyed over these past couple of years to share a lot of my photography. Even some of my videos, I tried uploading a few IGTVs onto there, but mm, I don't know, I can't really quite jump onto that uh, super well. I know that a lot of creators are doing really great on IGTV or using both platforms like IGTV and YouTube really well. So maybe that's something that I need to look into more. Uh, I want to try to look at other new creators. I've loved watching Peter McKinnon and Maddie uh, and so many other creators that got me started and got me uh, sparking with that fire to want to do YouTube 
make my Instagram look really great. Uh, but I think I've hit a point with watching them where I'm kind of like, okay, it kind of feels a little static. And I know that that might even sound harsh, but I mean, I still enjoy watching them. Although I feel like the content isn't really nourishing me as much as I wish it would, uh, because I really like watching those guys. Uh, they really do an amazing job with what they do and they're super fun to watch, but I don't think I'm really learning and growing as much now. So I'm even trying to watch creators that are not as big. And the reason being is because I think that they just have this spark that still kind of, uh, at least for me, helps me to remember that, hey, you know, your journey is just starting and you can get to where you're going toward, but remember to kind of humble yourself, I guess. Uh, for example, there's a really fun creator that I like watching. Her name is Audrey Ember, and I watch her every so often, but I recently started watching her again, uh, and I kind of like binged a couple of her most recent videos, and she's a younger uh, YouTuber than I am, but she's doing such a great job and i love the journey that she brings all of her audience on uh so yeah i'm super super glad to be able to see creators like that that are really pursuing what they want and taking risks uh to do what they want so i think that's what i need to do more of i need to take more risks i need to allow myself to be more creative allow myself to really just go out there and see what it is that I can do in order to get my craft even better in the year to come. So thank you everyone for watching. I really hope that you guys um, enjoy this video. I know that it's kind of a little bit of a different video and uh, you know what, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys use Instagram the way that I do, if you guys enjoy watching photos, you know, like really nice, like planned and thought out photos. Uh, let me know also like the kind of videos that you enjoy watching and let me know who it is that you like watching. Like, why do you like watching them? What inspires you to watch them? And what kind of things is it that you're interested in doing that you want to learn in the coming year? So thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, comment all those things down below. And I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to have a conversation with you and see what we can do. And uh, thank you so much. Catch you all in the next video. And until then, see you then.